Now this is a 1.9 pound cut of salmon. There's no skin on it. So I've seasoned one side. I'm just gonna flip it over and season the other. been seasoned with salt and pepper and I should be able to I always do like a little indent so I can know exactly how many pieces I'm gonna get they're about mm, I would say about six six ounces potentially somewhere around there so now I'm just gonna cut the salmon My skillet is already turned on. There's no oil in the skillet. But I have, um, before we got these skillets, I would add a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter just because I like the skin to be crunchy. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven pieces of salmon. And in order for Mike and I both to have salmon this whole week, I'm going to need 10. So I'm probably going to have to open up the other pack of salmon that I have. But this is still like a full week's worth of meal. And this pack of salmon was 12 bucks. So again, no oil. Hot pan. Set these on here to cook. Now I like my salmon to be a little bit crunchy and so does Mike. So I'm going to uh, let mine sear up pretty good. Here are my salmon. I have an electric stove and it is on six. And so I'm going to let these cook up. Okay, while my salmon are on the stove, I'm going to go ahead and cook my quinoa and kale. And I buy this at Sam's Club. I want to say it's about ten dollars for a pack of four um and this is what the pack is like i think a serving size is half the pack so i just place that in the microwave for five minutes let's see oh it says four minutes but you guys want to see some info on that Kale is really, really, really good for you as well. Six grams of protein per serving, and that's for a half a pouch. 400 grams of sodium, not too bad. 180 calories. So there are the nutritional facts. And it's uh, organic as well, which is pretty cool. So what I typically do is cook two bags of this 
and I'll do ha um, one day or two days, I'm sorry, where Mike will get the quinoa and kale and so will I. And then another day where we'll get like green beans or broccoli or carrots or sweet potatoes or something like that. Um, and so this week we'll have the quinoa and kale. I have green beans, I have carrots, I have broccoli, um, and I have salad. So I'll end up having some of the salad, which is sweet kale and vegetable kit salad. You can get this at Sam's Club, it's $2.58, and this is enough salad for me for three days. So let me show you guys my salmon cooking up nice. And salmon naturally has a little bit of fat to it. Um, so if you look, let me zoom in. This is how you make sure you don't get dry salmon. You see how it's starting to turn white right there halfway? Once it gets halfway like it is now, I'm gonna flip it over and let the other side cook and get halfway white as well. And that is how you ensure that you don't get dry salmon. So I know a lot of people bake salmon. I prefer not to bake it because you can't monitor it as well and see how it's cooking. But in a skillet, you definitely can. All right, so I decided to flip this one more time. And you see how perfectly golden brown it is? So that's... Mike's lunch for the week. It's still on six for the temperature. It's nice and golden brown. And I, you see the words bubbling up? That's the fat from the salmon. I didn't put any oils or anything like that in here. Nothing at all. All right guys, these are Mike's meals for the week. So one of these days he'll end up taking leftovers um, because that typically happens anyway. But Monday through Thursday here and then uh, Monday, Tuesday, I need to add some vegetables to this. this is Wednesday for me. My cleanup is literally one spatula, one skillet, and a cutting board and a knife. So I got a full week's worth of meals for Mike three days for myself. Um, now I typically buy a piece of salmon that's about two and a half pounds. This one was 1.9. Um, so had I gotten one that was two and a half pounds, it would have been just enough for us to have 10 pieces of salmon total. But I think for, let me see how much that was. I wanna say that salmon was like $12. Yeah, it was like 12 or $13. So for $13, I got seven meals or seven pieces of salmon for $13 and then if you add another maybe $3 for the vegetables I'm able to get a full week's worth of meals for under $20 if you guys have any questions let me know if you want to see how I meal prep for our family for the week um, or how I meal prep for my infant for baby food just let me know in the comments below thank you